name. Bless his holy name. Did y'all come ready for church today? There's an anointing in the house. I want to tell you, this praise and worship this morning is anointed. I heard the rehearsal. It is anointed. How many of y'all love the anointing of the Holy Ghost? The anointing is the power and the presence of God. And I want y'all to be led by the Holy Ghost today. Please be led by the Holy Ghost today. I don't know if you have to kick off your shoes or what's going to happen, but let's be led by the Holy Ghost. I don't know if y'all are going to kick off your shoes or what's going to happen. Father God, we love you so much. You're awesome. You're worthy of all praise and worship and glory and honor. And we love you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. And we glorify your holy name. And we've come to worship you and exalt you above all other things in our lives. Lord, we love you so much. We just come to declare your goodness over us. Thank you for your healing touch. Thank you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Thank you for your strong right arm that undergirds us. Thank you for lifting us up, Lord, and encouraging us in our spirits. We are encouraged today. We're strong today. We're overcomers today. We're more than conquerors today. In Jesus' holy name. This is the day the Lord has made. This is our breakthrough day. This is our overcoming day. This is our miracle day. This is our blessing day. Come on, church. Are you, are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? This is your day. This is the day the Lord has made. He made it with you in mind. He made it because he wants to bless you. He wants to anoint you. He wants to strengthen you. He wants to encourage you. Oh, we love you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Come on, lift your hands before the living God. We bless you, Lord. We magnify your holy name. We glorify you, Lord. Glory and honor to the King of kings and to the Lord of lords. Now, Lord, as we worship you and as we praise you, Lord, we do it with all our heart. We do it with sincerity. We mean it, Lord. We praise you for your goodness. We worship you for who you are in Jesus' holy Hallelujah. name. And Thank the church you, said amen Hallelujah. and amen. If you're grateful to be in the house of the Lord this morning, come on, give him praise. Give him honor. Give him glory. We thank you, oh God. With lifted hands, we just worship you this morning, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We declare we worship you. We worship you with lips of adoration. Let's declare a holy 
Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent. first please let's do that again Lord in thy presence there's healing divine no other power can save Lord but the Holy Spirit
If you know that to be true, come on, just lift up a sound of worship. We thank you, God. No one compares to you. No one comes close to you. And we just declare it right now, Lord God, that you're worthy and that we'll worship you, oh God, in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, the world will power.
until you come again. And we'll dance in your presence until. Until you come again And we'll dance in your presence Until you come again Oh, hallelujah. Woo. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, just begin to magnify, oh God. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. Come on, can somebody declare that I love you, God? I love you, Lord. There is no other place we'd rather be than right here in your presence. Glory to God. Glory to God. We thank you, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. And I the name of that mention of that name every knee must bow every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord Lord Jesus we love you we praise you we adore you we magnify you in this house we declare that we love your presence we feast upon your word 
the word of miracle signs and wonders we lift up all our loved ones now on our prayer list and we declare over them that they are the healed of the lord this is the day of their miracle this is the day of the breakthrough we thank you lord that every cell of our body lines up with the will of god which is health and healing in jesus name say this out loud with me if you would heavenly father I agree with your word. I thank you for my healing. I walk in health and well-being all the days of my life. Every cell of my body lines up with the will of God, which is health and healing in Jesus' name. Say this out loud. I am strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Say this with me. I'm an overcomer. I'm more than a conqueror. I can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth me. If you believe it, say amen. If you receive it, say amen. Oh, give the Lord a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Spirit has led me to pray for hearts. Put your hand on your heart right now. So I got a healthy heart. Oh, my heart is strong. It has the right rhythm, good circulation in my body. Holy Spirit promised me to pray for joints, especially knees. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and put your hands on your knees. My knees have full range of motion. There's no arthritis in my knees. My legs are strong in the name of Jesus. Ears and eyes, I have hearing, I have sight. I can see, I can hear, yeah, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. 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 Come against the formation of cataracts in the name of Jesus. I, I just speak against that forming on anybody's eyes in the name of Jesus. No clarity of sight. Clarity of sight. We say no to cataracts. We say yes to clarity of sight in the name of Jesus. No blurriness, no haziness, none of those little squiggly things off to the side. No. Nope. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Holy Spirit prompts me to pray for skin conditions in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Our skin is healthy. Our skin is renewed like the youth, like the eagles, Lord. We have young skin. No blots, no blemishes, no diseases, no affliction in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I love you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I magnify you, Lord. Hallelujah. Miss Camille, help me now. I love you, Lord. Come on, sister. Beautiful. And I lift Come on, everybody. Sing it out. Isn't that our prayer today? To sound to the Lord. Let's just thank him for his goodness. Let's just bless him. 
just out of your spirit right now. Just, just bless the Lord. Lord, we thank you. We bless you. We magnify you. Thank you for the healing of our body. Thank you for the saving of our soul. Thank you for the cleansing by the blood. Thank you for your covenant promises. Thank you for your angels that encamp round about me. Thank you for watching over me in the midnight hour. Thank you for being my best friend. Thank you for being my helper, my counselor, and my guide. Thank you for leading me into all truth. Thank you for getting me out of the, the kingdom of this world and into the kingdom of your son. Thank you, Lord, for all you're doing for me, to me, through me. Thank you, Lord, that you're making me more and more like you every day by the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, everybody. Thank you, Lord. 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 We 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 thank you, Lord. You do not have to be a great theologian to say thank you, Lord. Yes. You don't need to know the books of the Bible in order to say thank you, Lord. You don't need to know all the genealogy of this one and that one. You don't need to know all the alpha to the omega to thank the Lord. You just need to know what he's done for you. Oh, come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. Has he saved your soul? Oh, come on now. Has he saved your soul? Has he given you eternal life? Has he broken the power of sin off your life? Has he delivered you from the kingdom of the enemy? put you in the kingdom of his dear son has he made you a joint heir with Jesus Christ has he written your name in the Lamb's book of life you don't have to be a great theologian to say thank you Lord you just need to know what he's done for you I thank him today that he did not cast me away when he had every right to do it. Come on, church. I thank you, Lord, that when Adam fell, he didn't say, that's it. I gave him the best of everything. I walked with him in the garden in the cool of the day. I shared with them my heart. I shared with them my wisdom. And they turned on me and rebelled against me. That's it. I cast them away. No. In the next breath he said, I've got a plan of redemption. Oh, it'll cost me. It'll cost me my son. But I've got a plan of redemption. And I'm going to bring them back because I love them. I'm not going to reject them. I'm going to win them back. Glory to God. We got something to thank the Lord for. That God did not send you a rejection letter the last time you sinned. Now, come on, church. Aren't you glad that God didn't say that's it? Because I read in the word, his mercies are new every morning. Hallelujah. 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 I read in the word that the blood cleanses us from all sin cast it as far as east is from west aren't you glad 
that you did not get a rejection notice in the mail the last time that you made a little misstep, you made a little mistake, you made a little uh-uh. Aren't you glad that the Lord didn't say, you know what, I gave you enough chances, you blew it, that's it, forget it, I'm done with you. No, the Lord said, come on back. He's like the father looking for the prodigal child. Come on back. I got ring for you. I got a robe for you. to thank him for thank you, God. your greatest prayer your greatest prayer is always going to be thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus you might pray Lord the enemy is arrayed against me over there and Lord, I'm feeling this ache and pain in here. And Lord, that they are against me over there. But in the midst of all that, you can say, Lord, thank you for living on the inside of me. Thank you that you have not abandoned me. You're with me. For even though I'm in the valley of the shadow of death, thou art with me. You comfort me with your rod and your staff. You prepare a table. didn't just go so great for you but your name is written in the Lamb's book of life and your eternity looks pretty good hallelujah oh maybe yesterday wasn't the best day of your life but you've got eternal life and your future looks pretty good hallelujah 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 thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord I think this is a day to say thank you Jesus Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, come, let us say as you have declared your thanksgiving 
unto me. I declare my love over you. I love you, saith the Lord. I love you as much as I love my son. You are in him, and I love you. I love you. You are the apple of my eye, saith the Lord. You are precious to me. You are a precious jewel to me. Each and every one of you are unique and wondrous in your ways. And I created you that way. I created you to be an individual, a one of a kind. You're my individual fingerprint, as it were, saith the Lord. I made you unique, and I've given you unique assignments. Every one of you has my calling upon you. Every one of you has an anointing, a mantle for ministry. Every one of you does. Do not discount yourself, saith the Lord. Do not devalue yourself, saith the Lord, for you have great value in my eyes. I built you, made you, designed you for a specific calling. Don't wander away from it. Don't deny it. Don't discard it, saith the Lord. I did not deny you, and I did not discard you, saith the Lord. Fulfill your purpose, and you'll be happy. Fulfill your purpose, and you'll be fulfilled, saith the Lord. Walk in my ways with my anointing, and I will bless you. I will bless you richly beyond your wildest imaginations, saith the Lord. And the church said, amen, and amen, and amen, and amen, and amen, and amen. Amen, and amen, and amen, and amen. Amen, and amen, and amen, and amen. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 amen, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. Jermaine, I know that you're headed in and new directions in your life and I'm very excited about that I think the Lord would want to encourage you by saying do not be a, afraid of being a business owner do not be afraid of being an entrepreneur in the coming years as your skill set develops in these new pursuits and the Lord would say do not be afraid of having your name on the sign. Oh, Radama, come on, let's pray this out for a second. Oh, Riana Masidi Alamasidi Alamasa. Oh, Rana Mari Alamari Alama. Oh, Riana Masidi Alamasidi Alamasa. Oh, Radaba Kashidi Alamasi. Oh, Riana Masidi Alamasa. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And the church says, Amen and Amen. Turn to your neighbor. Give him a greeting, a blessing. Smile real big. Amen. God is good. You may be seated. We sure love you. It's great to see you today. God bless you. If this is the first time to Grandview Church, welcome. If this is the first time watching online to Grandview Church, we say welcome. We are so glad that you're here. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia de Grandview. We welcome you to Grandview Church. And if you're in the house and you're with us for the very first time, in the seat pocket in front of you is an information card. And if you wouldn't mind just jotting down some basic information and then hold on to it at the end of the service you can take it back to the welcome station at the back of the sanctuary and they will give you a gift for being with us and it serves as a reminder to come back and be with us again and again if you don't have a home church congratulations you just found it and uh, <laughs> uh, that's a word of prophecy right there and uh, we're so glad that you are here 
just go ahead and smile at your neighbor. And uh, we, we need masks that have big smiles on the front of it so you can smile through your mask. And um, God bless you, each and every one of you for that. Amen and amen. Uh, my wife typed up, uh, Debbie's not with us today. She's taking care of a home matter and uh, she sends her love and she's watching online right now. Hi, sweetheart. Everybody wave at the camera. Hi, sweetheart. And um, in her message in December of last year, she had a prophetic utterance and she, we've copied it and it was typed up. Someone um, uh, was watching online and typed it up and got it to us. And uh, we, we're just so happy for that. And so we'd like you to put this on your refrigerator, read it, put it on your refrigerator and just keep it in your heart because that's a word to us. And we're grateful for the Spirit's anointing uh, for that. Amen. And then um, this coming Wednesday, we are starting our midweek services again, March 3rd. Woo! Glory to God. Amen and amen. And if you've gotten out of the habit of Wednesday churches, well, we haven't had Wednesday church for a long time. First of the month, yeah, we've had some. But, but let me get you back into the routine of a midweek faith fill-up. Because we come and have church. Right. It's not just a little prayer meeting or a little Bible study. We have church. And it's church for all ages. So we'll have something for all ages of your family. Uh, bring everybody, come together, and let's worship the Lord uh, midweek. There's a lot of other things that you could be doing, but nothing better than this that you could be doing. Let's get into the yeah. Word. Let's worship the Lord. And let's have church. Amen. Amen. Now it's lighter later. And uh, I think the middle of March, we have the daylight savings time change. And so the time is, you know, getting lighter, longer, longer, longer. And so it's easier to drive in the evening. And so we've done this with intention because we want everybody to be able to come to church midweek and turn to your neighbor and say, I will pick you up at six and let's go to church. Amen. Let's carpool. Glory to God. Unless you're not a good driver, then get somebody else to pick y'all up <laughs> at six. Now, this coming uh, Thursday, which would be March 4th, Truth Seekers, uh, we've been having Wednesday afternoon services. We're not doing that anymore. Now, we're shifting over to Thursday morning Truth Seekers. And uh, Elder Tom is doing <laughs> a fantastic study in the book of Revelation. <clears throat> It's really, really excellent, and it's, it is master-level study. And so if you want to know about the book of Revelation, come. But the Truth Seekers is on Thursday at 10, and then, of course, we have prayer at noon. This coming Saturday, March 6th, is Mountain Movie Men's Meeting. And so all fellas get signed up for that. We need you signed up. Great breakfast, great time. It's absolutely wonderful. We'd love to have you there. And then Miss Carla is starting her cooking classes on Tuesday, March 9th at 6.30. And uh, a delicious cake is on the menu. Come on. That's it, right there. That's my cake, right there. Y'all get your hands off my cake. That's mine. And uh, it's, it's wonderful. And so that's at 6.30 on Tuesday, March 9th. And it's free. Just sign up. Love to have you. And then there is a uh, impact summer meeting that we're sending our teens to. It's in Alabama. It's going to be fantastic. And we're having a fundraiser for it on Sunday, March 14th after the service. We'll have lunch sandwiches made and we pray that everybody who can will attend. Uh, the tickets are $10, uh, very, very inexpensive, but that goes to helping finance our children uh, going to this uh, summer thing. And so that's for our teenagers and it's just gonna be powerful. It, the meeting is July 22nd through the 24th. So we're gonna send them up to Alabama and they are gonna have their lives changed, amen? amen. And so uh, come ready to participate in that teen luncheon. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. I wanna bring your attention to something. I thought with uh, all the goings on in Washington and whatnot, that the only thing that I would bring before the house are things that would affect the church of Jesus Christ uh, existentially. 
In other words, things that would threaten our existence. Because if I talked about every little political thing that happened, that's all we would talk about. And I'm tired of it, to be honest with you. I'm sick of it. And so uh, we haven't hardly talked about anything of that nature in the last uh, month or so. And I've really enjoyed it. <laughs> Glory to God. Turn off the TV and just turn on the Holy Ghost. Uh, but there is something that's coming up in legislation that has been passed by the House that I do believe is an existential threat to the church. Uh, it would cause us to cease to exist. It's that serious. And it's called the Equality Act. And that's a beautiful name. But never judge legislation by the name. Judge it by the fine print. And uh, this is what I want you to know about it because I want you to contact your senator. And if this passes, it's passed the House. And if it passes the Senate, then it will have a tremendous effect on churches and Christian schools and universities because what it does is it lessens the ability of a church to stand uh, or any religious institution to stand away from government intrusion and then we would be subject to government intrusion and uh, how it reads is this uh, uh, let me just find the correct paragraph um, an individual shall not be denied access to a shared facility, including a restroom, a locker room, a dressing room. This is in accordance with the individual's gender identity. And that means every school has to have, uh, will have to allow men and women into the same locker room. So all our kids would be subject to uh, that sort of intrusion into their life. That not only means that, but that means every locker room, every restroom, everywhere, including the church. Now, the reason I say the church is because Massachusetts has, as a state, has adopted this legislation in their state. And this is what has happened. In Massachusetts, state officials declare that churches are subject to state public accommodation laws. And that's what this is. It's an accommodation law for transgender uh, individuals, gay individuals. This, that meant if churches host public activities, something as simple as a spaghetti supper. They would be forced to open women's private changing areas and restrooms to biological men. If the church refused, it would face crippling fines and even jail time. This impacted people like Pastor Esteban Caruso and the House of Destiny Ministries. Esteban and his church wanted to open women's shelter for survivors of domestic violence, but according to this interpretation of law, they would be forced to allow men who identify as female to use the same changing rooms, restrooms, living facilities as these vulnerable women. Once the bureaucrats and politicians can tell a church, private school, or faith-based nonprofit what they must do, it will be a short step to being told what they can and cannot teach. And uh, so I believe that this is an existential threat to the church. Uh, if we had any event on our property, uh, such as a field day, picnic day, anything like that, well, every church service really is open to the public. So at any time, if this passes, we would lose our right and ability to say to a man, you cannot go into the women's restroom uh, because th they would have legal right to do that. So here we are. <laughs> And we, got, we can't allow this. We just can't allow this. And so uh, we need to contact our senator. And Elaine, had, Elaine, wave your hand. She has the name of the Senate office that you can contact, write emails, write letters. Uh, the, this has come up once before in recent years. And because the um, conservatives held the Senate, it was voted down, passed the House, we voted down in the Senate. Now the Senate is real iffy and um, it could pass, but we're gonna stand against it, amen? amen? And this is a true threat to the church and so uh, thank you for your participation in that.
five. HR five. Okay, we, we, uh, we just have to stand. We have to stand. And, and there we are. Um, I think what I might do is create a thread of uh, current events and that kind of stuff that you could access on your own. Um, because I like to preach the gospel. But I also know that you need to be aware. And um, this is a true threat to the the existence of the church in the United States. And so here we are, and um, y'all act on that. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. Heavenly Father, help us as believers to make a good stand for Jesus Christ. Lord, we don't hate anybody. We're not trying to cast anybody down. But we are trying to protect the gospel and what we can preach and teach and, and how we conduct our worship life. And so, Lord, you help us, Lord, and, and cast this legislation down, I pray, in the name of Jesus Christ. And we say amen. Now, let me, let me build your faith for our tithe and offering this morning. Paul said in Romans 20, you yourselves know that these hands have provided for my necessities. Paul was a tent maker. And for these who are with me, I've shown you that in every way, laboring like this, you must support the weak. And we are called to help those uh, that are in need. And remember the words of the Lord Jesus that he said, it's more blessed to give than to receive. Um, the reason it's more blessed to give is because when you're in giving mode, you are the most like the Lord. That's what the Lord does. God gives. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Come on, church. And so when you're in a giving mode, you are most like God. That's why it's more blessed to give than to receive. It's great receiving. God wants us to receive. That, that ministers to us. But when we are giving, we are ministering for him the heart of God. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity. Oh, reach into that seat pocket, get that envelope in front of you, make it out, hold on to it, make out your check, put it in, hold on to it. At the end of service, you can put it in the offering baskets on your way out. Father God, thank you for this opportunity to worship you with our tithe and our offering. In Jesus' name we pray and we say amen and amen. God bless you in your giving. Sing a little louder in the presence of my enemies. Sing a little louder, louder than the unbelief. Sing a little louder, my weapon is a melody. Sing a little louder. 